Many of us are drawn to the less common things in nature so that we can have our own unique experience. Fender's blue butterfly is a rare and elusive species that caught my attention. It has been impacted by a change in surroundings while inspiring a restoration of our natural lands. Some people might wonder what makes Fender's blue butterfly so special. The fact that this species got a second chance reminds us to appreciate things while we can. Fender's blue was known to be extinct until someone found it again. Since then, it has been on both the endangered and threatened species lists. A similar butterfly from the San Francisco Bay Area, the Xerxes blue, was declared extinct back in the 40s. Xerxes blue had a similar habitat loss to Fender's blue when sand dunes of the Bay Area were developed. Fender's blue might not always be around, and documenting it could be important for restoration efforts or even historical records. While I like to share various things of interest, the more uncommon ones give us that extra excitement of a unique experience. Fender's blue butterfly is one of those rare things, as it can only be found in the Willamette Valley. The environment, and especially the plant life, is what the butterfly needs to thrive. Basket Slough Wildlife Refuge is a protected habitat surrounded in farmland. This wildlife refuge was originally created to provide a wintering habitat for Canada geese. Fender's blue, Canada geese, and many other animals have lost most of their natural habitat in the Willamette Valley to agricultural development. The butterfly habitat has also been lost due to a lack of controlled burning and invasive plants. The protected wildlife refuge shows us what a lot of this land looked like before it was developed. This place would be the best chance to get to view Fender's blue butterfly up close. The question was when to visit. The overall butterfly life cycle is important to understand when trying to find them. They spend most of their lives in the pre-stages, while their time as a butterfly only lasts a couple of weeks. The cycle begins when a butterfly lays eggs. The egg hatches into a caterpillar who goes on to eat and grow a lot. The caterpillar hibernates and forms a cocoon. Once ready, they emerge a butterfly and continue that cycle. After doing a little bit of research, I found that Fender's Blue emerges around late May, but that can vary depending on seasons and weather. When the time was right, I headed out to Basket Slough Wildlife Refuge. Daddy, can I take a picture? Well, you're taking a video. Oh. All right, let's go. Come on. It turns out I headed there too early for this late 2024 season and couldn't find any butterflies. We revisited again a week or two later as there is a short window of opportunity. Our state bird, the western meadowlark, was out with its beautiful song. But it is also a known predator as it will eat Fender's Blue in its larval stage. Wildflowers were out in full swing, which was a good sign for butterfly viewing. The butterfly will feed off nectar from these flowers.
There is one specific wildflower to look for as Fender's blue butterfly will always be near it. The butterfly spends most of their lifetime around the host plant called Kincaid's lupin. Eggs are laid on the plant and when hatched, the caterpillars eat the leaves in order to grow exponentially. Kincaid's lupin and Fender's blue butterfly are both on the threatened species list. Human development had led to a loss of space for the plant to grow, which means less habitat for the butterfly. But the decline of a species has brought restoration efforts to both the butterfly and the lupin. Many other animals will benefit from the comeback of this prairie habitat. For an extra incentive to not walk all over the habitat, there was lots of poison oak hidden between the flowers. After a long search, finally tiny blue flapping wings were spotted. But they were hard to follow. Each time I got my camera ready, they had moved. Both patience and quick action was needed. Once I had a great close-up, I realized something wasn't right. Fender's blue butterfly has some distinct features that separate it from a similar common species, the silvery blue butterfly. Easiest to notice is the difference in spots on the underside of the wing. Fender's blue has two rows of spots, while silvery blue has just one. Other subtle differences, like wing shapes or color, are much harder to see. Having a nearly identical species makes monitoring the Fender's blue butterfly difficult for researchers. As they are such a similar species, finding one can mean you are close to the other. Another patch of Kincaid's lupin was out of the wind and seemed like a perfect spot. Blue butterflies were abundant and even a few males were fighting. Females have a more rusty brown color while the light blue only comes on males. When looking closely at this group, I could see the second row of spots. Finally, I had caught Fender's blue butterfly on camera. They would mostly stop for nectar on a flower for 5 to 10 seconds, then move on. Photography of small and fast things is definitely a challenge. I was glad I put in the effort to see this and be able to share it. In its short time as a butterfly, it survives on nectar while trying to find a mate in order to keep reproducing. Fender's Blue has made a great recovery once thought to be extinct, then endangered, and now reduced to threatened status. The butterflies pollinate and the caterpillars serve as food for birds, but the biggest effect from Fender's Blue is inspiration. Compared to most other tiny species, the butterfly gets more of a response from humans to take action. Thanks to Fender's Blue, some upland prairie habitat has been restored in the Willamette Valley. In addition to the excitement of a physical search, I enjoyed learning about this recovering species and habitat. The story of Fender's Blue has shown us that recovery is possible even after such overwhelming loss. The butterfly had an effect. 
causing people to improve prairie habitat, benefiting many other species. I was inspired myself to go out and see something new. Hopefully, I inspired others through sharing it. <laughs>